All right. So down to the nitty gritty, we got the last one that's available, and that's Ghost Blade. Who I want to say was available during the last closed beta, but I didn't get a chance to play the last two, so some of these characters are completely new to me. Of course, he seems to be very dangerous. I'm going to check to see whoever that lock character is, and I'm going to see if I can get him. So, good reach. We got a crossover. Take a look at his moves. First, let's take the gauge off. Single ghost strike. Okay, your ghost teleports forward, cutting down your opponent. This projectile is a, it's a projectile attack and can be used from afar. Okay. Your dyad soul during ghost single strike. So much has to press it immediately afterwards. This is just. This is regular move. Ghost Retracer. Evades attack and teleport while teleporting forward. Can cancel ground based MP moves and you can use your ghost position while being summoned. Ghost Retracer. Ghost Sky Slash. Wait, so I wonder, can I? down, knock down his opponent. Okay. Ghost Phantom win. Back in A, your ghost advances, or slashes the surrounding three times. Targeted hit. It's a point of all knocked down. Ultimate Phantom Punish, Ultimate Phantom Slash, excuse me. That's real good, and it don't cost no, oh it does cost HP. No it don't. I was gonna say, that's regular moves. Alright, so we got Spectral Eradication. Easy to use as a poker or combo finisher. Beyond from continuing combos, this move is also good for checking airborne opponents, I think. We got Die Slash, which has, which is Ruckus, 
Moves becoming vulnerable against projectiles at the start of this move. Okay, so this could be good. Briefly, so he's invulnerable. So, okay. Soul Strike. That is the overhead. Hits opponent even when knocked down. Can easily pull airborne opponents. And it's good for it's good to use as a poke for combo execution. Or as a combo finisher. And after that, they got Cross Slash. Okay. And so if I want to do this. Increases damage jump to the opponent. Has a small chance to inflict critical damage. Team up with your ghost to take down those who oppose you. Tight timing, but you can get it. Ghost. So, like I said, I don't know who this last character is, but so far, I mean, the controls are pretty basic. Um, there's a lot of great combo potential with a lot of these characters. Some are more defensive than others. Um, who I think is going to be like the main focus, like who's going to be like early release top tier or whatever like that, if anybody even care. Inquisitor for damn sure. She's going to be up there. I know Striker's going to be up there. Um... I know Ghost Blade is going to get a lot of play. Um, only a hand selected people are really going to use Vanguard. I don't really. You know, Gunslinger is going to be one of the least used characters. I will guarantee you that. Because Launcher is like a better version of Gunslinger. But I can see Guns Ranger, excuse me, Ranger is going to be a. Um, in the right hands, Ranger is dangerous. 
because everybody wants to play certain characters the same way as other characters. Ranger is completely, is like he has close range options that's made for counters. His main damage comes from like medium range to long range attacks, so everybody's not necessarily going to be playing for that. I can't wait to see somebody get good with Enchantress. Somebody's going to be real good with her. But so far, man, like I got a gist of what everybody's capable of doing. And I know what to expect online for the most part. So, yeah, so that was uh, that was in the lab sessions with all the characters in DNF Duel. So, just take it online and see what we, uh, see what we run into.